to have your loved one around. All right, here we got a nice example, lick number 16. Uh, short and sweet, nice descending line. Here it is. So what he's doing is three roots, two flat sevens, real staccato. Then you got the fourth. We don't we don't use the fifth here. We skip it. Go right to the fourth, and then minor third root root. Common, you know, minor third to the root. Then we do the common move also of minor third. Root, pull up to the flat seven, to the fifth. Let me see, does he do two fifths there? Let me see. No, just one. He rolls right into it. What that is, is down on the minor third. Now you go up. Pull up, uh, up on the root, pull off flat seven, and and you play the fifth on an up too. It's so fast. The right hand does one little motion, one little upstroke, but you're pulling off and getting that flat seven in between it. It's not like this. It's not like you're picking both of them up. You're just, you're like, you're like, you're just raking up those two strings. And you, then you, that pull off is in between it. It's really amazing how fast you can play in bursts but you know you it's a whole other thing to play at that intensity at that speed for a longer time i mean you know that's where the real greats can do it you know but i guess anything's possible if you practice it right you work up to that speed you ever see gary moore play holy smokes it doesn't seem possible but you know what that's an interesting thing listen you know, there was this, uh, I don't know the name, so forgive me, but you can look this up, Google it. You know, no one could run a four-minute mile. Have you ever heard that? There was a time where no one could run a four-minute mile, and it was as if, like, you know, science was pretty much coming out, and they thought it was safe to say that the human body cannot endure running a mile in under, you know, like, in just four minutes. It's, it's impossible. And then shortly after, forgive me because I don't remember the name, but a guy does it. He runs a four-minute mile, I guess just under a four-minute mile. And the amazing thing was because this guy proved that it can be done, just pretty much practically overnight, people started running four-minute miles. It was, I guess it, the world was shown that it can be done, so people just put it in their mind and believed it can be done. Before that, everyone was telling them, even science was saying, you can't do it, you can't do it. And I kind of think about with the guitar, like, you go back far enough and you're kind of saying, like, wow, that look at this guy's good, he could play, you know, and then someone goes past him and plays... I mean, just in terms of physical speed, you know, you can say like they play stuff that seems impossible to play. And up until that moment, it was. And then the guy proves it. Next thing you know, all these guys are doing it or, you know, getting close, pushing the limits of what they were able to do. Right. So it's really amazing how it works. You know, you see each guy. I see Gary Moore play. And now. I watch some of these videos on YouTube and I go, holy smokes. And I see his fingers. But there is something now in my mind. Like, I was like, I, I, you know what? It's practice. 
I think I could do it. I just start to believe that I can. I think I think I could get there. It might take me a while. But if I really practice and really do drills and exercises, you can do it, man. He proved that you can. And even if you, you know, if you fall a little short, you're going to you're going to increase. I mean, if that's your goal to play like Gary Moore, if you only get halfway to having his technique, you're going to be one hell of a player anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? You just go do the best you can, you know? And you'll 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 do it. You got to believe in yourself. You can do it. You can do anything. All right. So, anyway, little lecture there, but again, we'll run this one. It's pretty cool. Let's move on to the next one.